it's not transphobic to call out a trans person who's a predator. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to talk about this new Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson thing that's happening right now. Now, I don't know anything about Mr. Beast except for my 11-year-old kid told me about Mr. Beast and how popular he is. So of course, looking into it, He's like the biggest YouTuber. He has somebody who works for him named Chris Tyson. And this story, I do remember after my son introduced me to whom Mr. Beast was. And I found out that this Chris Tyson decided they were going to transition to become a woman. So basically becoming a trans woman. I was actually very uncomfortable with that and not the transition part, but the fact that this channel is geared towards a younger generation. And I just felt something just didn't feel right about it. You know, transitioning is a personal space. And I don't necessarily think transitioning in front of young people is the appropriate thing to do. So my gut feeling was right. Now it comes to light that this person, Chris Tyson, who also goes by Ava, that's their new lady name, Ava, has been messaging young, a young, possibly others, a young person of 13 years old when they were 20. Now, this was happening around 2000, I think 17 or 18. I found this great uh, YouTuber who uh, I'll put a link to this video and, and a thanks to them for making this whole video on it because I don't really know anything about this world of gaming, about this world. It just seems like all these people know each other. It's this whole space that is you know geared towards gamers and these guys and this whole thing. It's not my world. So this person puts it all in perspective for me and for you. So they're gonna be able to help us with a little bit with the, with the backstory before I give you a little bit more of my um, opinion and disgust about this whole situation. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this video and you'll get a little background on what's going on. So recently, Mr. Beast became the most subscribed to person on the entire platform. Year after year, he has consistently dropped some of the biggest videos on YouTube, and he's the type of guy that really prides himself on avoiding any sort of controversy around his name. And in general, it seems like he really just wants to have fun while helping people out and making these different big ideas of his come to life. But one controversial topic around him and his brand has been one of his best friends, Chris. Chris has been with Jimmy since the start of his days on YouTube and is actually one of his childhood friends. And over time, the audience came to know and love Chris like they do many of the other recurrent people on the channel. Well, you might remember last year we talked about Chris in a highly controversial video posted by Sunny V2, and the main topic being discussed in this video was Chris becoming, well, Chris with a K, and transitioning from a man to a woman. The name of this YouTuber who did this is Jamari, by the way, but I'll again put a link here. So uh, again, it goes on to say a little bit more about Chris's background. Over the years, people had come to know Chris as a married Christian family man, so many fans and critics alike did find his transition to be a little bit jarring, including Nick Merckx, who has been very vocal about his opinions. So, of course, people are going to be very upset because it looks like a very straight world, and they're just not going to understand this. And I get it. I understand it. And I, under and I don't understand why Chris needed to transition in such a public space around so many young kids. Well... Now it comes to light that this Chris dude, Ava, has been texting. Now, this was around 2000, 2017, 2018. To me, I don't care if it was 100 years ago. This is inappropriate behavior for a 20-year-old to be texting and having private conversations with a 13-year-old, period. I don't care what you say to me. It is not okay. That is an adult having private conversation. And these private conversations were actually quite disturbing. You're gonna see right here in this, in these video, in this video from Jamari is you're gonna see these uh, inappropriate text messages. Where people are claiming to have exposed Chris for having an inappropriate relationship with a 13 year old fan when he was 20 years old and that this online communication continued for several years. Shout out to this man Prism who is the first one to bring this to light. So there's this kid who goes by the nickname Lava GS Online, 
and it seems like he was a massive Mr. Beast fan back in the day, and even got to work for Jimmy at some point in the past helping with his gaming channel. It seemed like over the years they developed several channels of communication from Snapchat to Twitter messages, Discord DMs, and private gaming sessions. Which let me just pause the video right there and say that I already have a- Let me pause the video right there too. What? What? Are you, are you getting a 20 year old in all of these situations with a 13 year old over years? Years. Wrong. I don't care what anybody says right there. That is not okay. Now this person is a trans person. How many videos have I done already with these trans women who are doing inappropriate things? Now with an actual child? Come on, man. You've, got, you've all got to start seeing this. I'm not okay with this. And I don't see a lot of trans people talking about this, by the way, which is also disturbing. And you know how I feel about this so-called community. So it's going to come out whether you all like it or not. This is disturbing and wrong. I don't even know what's going on with this transition thing, okay? It's, it's so gross because we all know now trans is this thing that you are trans. You magically get this like sort of bubble around you where nobody wants to touch you because they're too scared to be called transphobic. Case in point, friends. Look at this. Rolling Stone magazine. Headline, Ava, which is his, her girl name, Ava Chris Tyson steps away from all things Mr. Beast amid transphobic attacks. It's why I opened this video with it's not transphobic to out a predator. How is that transphobic? This person is doing disgusting stuff. I don't care if you're trans, put that over here. And also this person wasn't transitioned when they were doing this stuff, by the way. So remember that, keep that in your head right there. Then it goes on to say, Tyson was accused of grooming a minor. The alleged victim, now 20, 20 years old, refutes the claim. Do any of you even understand what happens to victims of SA and abuse? Okay, they, they, they compartmentalize, they put it in the back, they get groomed so hard that they don't even think that it is actually being that. That's what it is. That's what actual grooming is. So that they can make it seem like you're not doing it when it's actually in fact doing it, okay? So this now this kid who he was seriously doing that with, cause all, I'm not, you could go into a deep dark hole with this, I did. I went into a, the stuff that was going on. I mean, I can touch on the anime stuff, the inappropriate photograph. There's so much. I want to stay on the trans target here. And I want to stay on the actual inappropriate child to adult behavior and the grooming. I'm staying straight on that because you could get lost here. Seriously, I'm gonna, I could put a ton of links for you. But once you watch this video and you see, you're going to just want to do your own research because this person is disgusting and I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm just so upset by the whole thing right now. So, so the kid, now 20 years old, okay, sends out a tweet that says, "I even hate putting his name there, but you know what? He's 20 now, so I don't feel so bad about it." But listen to this: these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. I never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Really? Well, Chris at the time was calling this little kid dad. Like, what? They're, trust me, this stuff is inappropriate. And this just totally says to me, a kid who didn't realize they were being groomed and now is at 20 years old and in complete denial of the whole thing. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? Also protecting their groomer. This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online, like you. Oh my God, I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos at all. Wow, that's just so sad. That just totally saddens me. So then Ava gets busted here. Ava Chris gets busted. So Ava Chris deletes all their tweets. To, what? That seems like full on guilt. Why are you deleting stuff? What's going on? You're deleting that? That is guilt right there. I don't care. Nobody deletes things if they're not doing anything bad. What are you talking about? 
So then Chris puts out this apology tweet after deleting all the other tweets, right? And then this is what it says. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Really? That sounds pretty guilty, my friend. Yeah, you did hurt people. And you were in a situation where there were a lot of young people probably looking up to you. And also, where's Mr. Beast? I don't see anything being said by this guy, okay? So it's gonna get nasty. I am gonna guarantee you this is gonna become so insane. And it's gonna open what I what all a lot of us have been saying. The internet is scary. And if you don't keep your eyes on kids, these kinds of things can happen. And these people who seem like they're all jolly and happy and want to help kids, this is so insane. The Rolling Stone article is really pissing me off, how they made it all transphobic. This is not transphobic to talk about. Chris did this to themselves. I don't care if they're trans. They need to be held accountable, maybe even more accountable, because I don't want this idiotic trans bubble around everybody and you can't touch them. So I'm hoping because I'm saying something and I'm hoping that I'm pretty sure other trans influencers who's, who are stand up people will, will speak up about this and the ones who don't shame on them. And it means they're don't, they are hiding something too. We should all be talking about this. So, so with that, Here's something that I also found, which is so disturbing. Okay. Mr. Beast's alleged former employee reveals all. Drama alert attempted to reach out to Mr. Beast to verify his employment status, but we got no response. Shocking. So watch this. Hold on. Let me turn off the music. I'm outside Mr. Beast's studio right now. Here's a cornfield. I'll explain that tomorrow. Um, I've just been driving by looking uh, to, to see, you know, is there an FBI raid going on? What's happening? My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when oh all this information God. comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I wow. promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. This is so creepy, you guys. Of course, people know what's going on. I mean, I told you, you could take a deep dive into this stuff. I can't get deep into it because it's just going to take away from what I want to address here, which is Ava, Chris, trans woman, Rolling Stone calling it transphobic. How dare they, first off, say that? I'm telling you as a trans sexual person, it's not transphobic. And it's up to the actual trans community to hold these people responsible. I'm getting sick and tired of these trans people. They're not trans. They're using trans as a means and a way to get to these young people. I'm telling you, it's pathetic and disgusting. I, I want to see if there's one more piece here that I wanted to show you. Either way, he felt so comfortable with Chris to the point that he was asking him about his addiction to adult cartoons. And they were having a lot of inappropriate banter publicly on Twitter when Lava was only 14. Guys, we are so close to our goal. Oh my God. One more Patreon and I'm releasing my nudes. Okay, I, I can't, I can't. I don't even wanna put that in front of your eyes. It's so disgusting. Wow, you know, you can look at other YouTubers. They're gonna show you the whole thing. I, I, I just, I can't. It's so sick and wrong. Why is a 20 year old hanging out with a 13 year old? Why? Why would a 20 year old hang out? We know why. Let's just be honest here. It's all gonna come, more of it's gonna come. We're gonna see it. What's up with the with the transition? All of a sudden, everyone's celebrating you as a trans woman and you are a predator. Are you actually really a trans woman? And if I'm transphobic, I don't care. You're going down, buddy. Go away, get some serious mental health. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but I feel it's a duty to talk about these things. It's a duty to out these 
actual weird people who are calling themselves trans women and then hanging out with young people or telling young people to come and meet me over here in a private space. You know who I'm talking about again and over and over and over again. When are we going to put an end to this? When? It's so disgusting. I want to read a couple more of these last tweets of, of Ava Chris's here. Uh, after the first initial one where he said that he apologizes. Ava, and I'm not calling him she. I'm not doing it. You don't get any respect. When you mess with kids, everything is off the table, buddy. Everything. Ava Chris Tyson, to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. There you go. Of course it happened. Of course it happened. You should keep your mouth shut. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Um, whatever, whatever. Why'd you, why'd you delete all your tweets? Don't try it. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. That's not why you stepped away. I pretty much will bet you Mr. Beast said, see you later, alligator. But as I showed you in that last video from an ex-employee, they said that stuff is known. It's been going on for a long time. Ugh, disgusting. Anyway, that's my video for now. I'm pretty disgusted. Let's see what happens. I'll probably end up making another video to delve deep. But why don't you all go look at stuff that I don't feel comfortable putting up here because it is really inappropriate and disgusting. And it gets really deep and dark and horrible. So with that, I hope, you see what I'm trying to do here. And I hope that you see that we need to start outing people in the transgender community because it's getting more and more creepy and more and more weird and more and more predators are entering under the guise of trans. Thanks so much for watching. I'd super appreciate it if you can like this. Let's get this thing going. We need, I'm a trans person and I need to say this and I need your help to get my voice out there to, to put this stuff out so that people can see what is actually happening in the trans space. Have a great day. Big love to you.